Welcome back. Welcome back to the Helen Blocker Adams Show. I am your host, Helen Blocker Adams, your advocate of hope. We are broadcasting live here from Cloud Nine Entertainment Restaurant, and we are so delighted that you have joined us here this evening. Helen Straight Talk on Relationships, bringing you a unique twist on relationships, is going to kick off at 730. But in the meantime, what we're doing here this evening is having a conversation with Michael, the musicated minor Sullivan, who is is a, uh, you know what, I want to find out. First of all, Michael, thanks again for joining us this evening. It's definitely my pleasure. What do you want to find out? I want to find out what type of singing do, what you know how the different people are different type of singers, whether they're R&B or gospel or whatever. How do you classify your type of singing, or do you like to put yourself in the box that way? Um, typically, I don't like to label things, but to make it easy, um, I'm a mixture of soul, jazz, hip-hop, and inspirational. So I call myself a life artist. Um, however, it comes out while I'm writing and uh, producing the music that I produce, because I'm a producer as well. Um, if I sing about pain, then it may sound like the blues. If I'm feeling joyous, then it might sound like pop. And if I'm really, really, really feeling connected to God and life at the moment, it might come out as gospel or inspirational. So I call myself a life artist. <laughs> now, I've seen you perform, and there's one particular song that you've done called um, uh, uh, the first class first class ticket and that song is hot I'm telling you I mean you just blow everybody away because everybody you know the lyrics are very simple and and but it really gets going in the course the beat I love the beat as well thank you so much um, that'll actually be my first single that um, I'll probably be bringing to you the first week of February right. um, first class is the, the name of the song and um it's, it is simple, but I think it captures how a lot of us feel. A lot of times we wake up tired of, you know, getting the short end of the stick. You know, we're tired of riding coach. So we're like, you know, I sing today I'm claiming I want my first class ticket. So <laughs> that's what the song is about. I love it. I love it. And you know what? There is something special about the first Friday in February because we've got some other things that's going to be going on, and of course that's the um, two weekends before Valentine's Day. So yeah, maybe we'll we'll have to make it kind of a debut of that particular song on that first Friday here on the Helen Blocker Adams Show. That would be pretty cool. If you allow it to happen, it will happen, I promise you. <laughs> all right, all right. Well, I say we're going to make that happen, absolutely. Now, I want to find out, let me get a feel from you of what's your thoughts of the whole entertainment culture here in Augusta, Richmond County? I just want to first say, I know a lot of people here say that, oh, there's nothing here in the CSRA, there's nothing in Aiken and Augusta, but I want to go on to the air to say that's a lie. If you want something to be going on, there's plenty to do each night of the week. You know, we have people like you offering us plenty of opportunities. We have people like Brother Travis hosting open mics where us, us artists can get together. I host the open mic on Sunday night at Caribbean Soul. Um, we have so many talented artists here. It's crazy. You, you would have to know everything that's going on to realize how much the CSRA has to offer. And that's in all genre. I mean, jazz, R&B. Now, the R&B and old school is, is making a turn in terms of more of a presence here in the Augusta area. There was an old school, new school, which was an event I put on, a concert that um, where we had um, Grizzly L. Bay and uh, Mr. Hip Soul that was the, the, the stars of that show, and it was awesome at Sky City. That was in December. And, of course, I hadn't met you at that particular time. But certainly what you're saying for our listening audience is that entertainment of all genre is alive and well here in Augusta, Richmond County. Alive and well. It's not lacking at all. You just have to, um, if you want to know about it, the information is there for you to know. You can hit up Miss Helen Blocker Adams. I'm sure she'll provide the information what's going on. If you hit me up on Facebook, I would definitely let you know what's going on around the community. Plenty to get into. Absolutely plenty to get into. Now, one of the things that I wanted to ask you about also is five years from now, where do you see yourself? Five years from now, I want to be traveling and performing at festivals and um, continuing to work on music, hopefully continuing to build my network 
with uh, positive individuals, business people and club owners. That way, not only can I have opportunities for myself, hopefully I can build uh, a bridge so I can present opportunities to other people, whoever's aspiring to do anything. You want to be a writer, I want to help get you in contact with a writer that's already established. You know, I just want to build my network. And, you know, that is one thing that is very, very important. And I'm really big on networking. I mean, I'm big on networking. I love to connect people, and I love to collect to connect people who are different than, you know, a musician with a, uh, a stockbroker and a stockbroker with an actress, you know, so that different people, when you step in different worlds, you can build those relationships and make for uh, a better community. And that's something that I'm, I'm – I, I live for every day. I call them Unlikely Allies, which is the title of my book, Unlikely Allies. Yes, yes, yes. So Michael, the musicated minor, Sullivan, is here in the studio with me, and he is an indie artist. He says he a little bit of R&B, inspiration, hip-hop, soul, blues, all blended in now of course not all at the same time but it just depends on the song now, do you write most of your songs i write all of my music and produce all of my music and i play piano so i do anything music you hear comes from me i i created it it came from me raw wow now that's awesome that is awesome what would you say to someone that is thinking about getting into the music industry and they're a little you know, a little nervous, they don't know what to do. What would you say what would you say to them? I would say if it's what you really want to do, then go for it. Don't do it halfway. I know a lot of people who are artists, they think that it's easy. It's an easy job. You see an entertainer on T V and you you feel like they don't do a lot of work and oh, they have a dream life but it's really not true. That person had to grind to get where they are just as well as a business person or someone in college or whatever profession they're working towards. So if you want to be in the industry, you have to be confident. You have to leave those those thoughts that it might not happen for you alone. You have to just go for it and do not turn back because there will be days that you're questioning why you're doing what you're doing. But if you allow it to stop you, then you won't get anywhere. Michael, is there anything else that you would like to share before we wrap up tonight's interview? Um, I was recently cast in Miss Monique's first pay play, yes, and um, that'll be at the Imperial Theater June 18th, and I'm, uh, I'm the main male character, so you can catch me in that. Um, you can catch me on Facebook, Michael Musicated Minor Sullivan, or Facebook.com slash Musicated Minor.